Hi, I'm Rose. Hi, I'm Caro, and we are Roco, the biophilic design studio based in Margate. So today we're going to be showing you how to make your very own root shoots. And root shoots are something we designed, they're just a support basically to help with the propagation process. So when you're rooting in water, they're a really nice way to give support to cuttings or seeds and so that you can watch the roots growing. And what we found is that actually there weren't many products on the market to help with this. So we used to collect the top of smoothie cups, um, which are actually a really good way to give support. So the project we're going to show you is based sort of loosely around the top of these smoothie cups. Um, but as you'll see, you can really, you can do whatever you want with the design because we're using air drying clay. All you really need is a hole in the bottom for the roots to grow through. Plants have become really important to us over lockdown. And if you're looking for a project to do, if you want to get messy with your kids, this is a great one to do. The tools you're going to need are a cup of water, some decorator's varnish or yacht varnish, some paint brushes, we've got some avocado seeds and they're quite useful for shaping the shoots. Any kind of um, tools you've got that you might want to use for mark making, so we've got some terrarium tools and a knife, we've got some paints, greaseproof paper, a rolling pin and the air drying modelling clay. So to start you're just going to grab a lump of clay and you're going to soften it in your hands. And once it's nice and really kind of pliable like this, the way I like to do it is just to roll a ball. Get the avocado seed and, like, and use it as a bit of a, a mould. So, in fact, I might just, I might just flatten it a bit first. So I'm going to use the avocado seed to just to help shape the shoot. So I'm going to push it in and then, then I'm just going to shape around it like this. And you can really do this any way you want. And then really it's up to you what you want to do with the design. So um, to make this one, I think all I did was use this little terrarium tool. It's got quite a nice little sticky end. If, you, if any bits go wrong and you want to remodel or re sort of um, mark anywhere, just use a wet finger and you can just soften again like this, go back round, smooth it out again, and then you can just go back and make more marks. So once you're happy with the shape of it, we're just going to use a pen or whatever you've got really hanging around um, to make a hole at the bottom, just to make sure obviously like the water can get in. So I'm just going to make a hole like that. It doesn't have to be that big. And then once you're happy with the design, you're just going to leave it somewhere to dry overnight. Um, so because of the shape of it, I might leave it upside down somewhere, um, just so that it doesn't go floppy and flat. Um, yeah, so leave it overnight and then it will dry out and then you can paint it. And then I'm going to be doing a slightly different technique. So you can make these little thin root shoots as well, which are really good for cuttings rather than the, than the pips. So once you've rolled your ball of clay, um, we're just going to take two pieces of baking paper and then we're going to roll it out to a thickness of about half a centimetre. You don't want it to go any thinner than this, um, just because the, the clay becomes too brittle. So I'm going to use this jar here as a guide. And run the knife around the outside of the jar. It can be really neat with this if you want to, but I don't want it to be too perfect. It's like cutting a nice wheel of cheese. <laughs> I think part of the fun of this is actually it doesn't really matter if it looks terrible, you can just off again um, <laughs> if it doesn't work out the first time. So actually I'm pretty happy with that but I'm going to add like a few little bubbles on the top. <laughs> the great thing about this clay as well is that it, it doesn't actually shrink so the design that you make will be the finished size. So 
if you want to stick these pieces on, you just score both surfaces. Mix a little bit of water on the back, create a little bit of a, a slip, and then just gently press that on. So this is one I made a couple of days ago. You can see it's gone a little bit lighter in colour. Um, and so all you do now is if you want to paint them, this is the, the time to paint them. So I'm just going to paint this one white and keep it really simple. And then once it's painted, you can just leave it to dry. I'm going to use the um, avocado seed as like a bit of a base for it to dry on. So I'm just going to stick it like that. And leave it to dry. Once the paint is dry and you're happy with the colour of it, you just get your yacht varnish and a fresh paintbrush and go over and do quite a thin layer of varnish. And this is going to make it watertight once it's um, sitting in water. Because you're not firing the clay, you're just leaving it to sort of dry naturally in the air. If it was to get wet, it would get a bit soggy again. So the varnish just gives a kind of um, a waterproof layer. Make sure to wash your seeds really well beforehand to stop bacteria growing and also you can change the water every couple of days even adding a teaspoon of activated charcoal to keep the water really fresh. We found that the best species of avocado to try using are Hass and Holiday and other seeds that we really like doing this with are acorns, mango seeds and lychees.